Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at I told you moments. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. In high school, I was at a party where everyone was getting drunk. I had come with two friends and near the end of the night, this one guy was luring everyone into his van to get late night food. He swore he was not drunk and there were so many people in his car, including the two people I came with. It was not a battle I was going to win, but it seemed like an obviously dumb situation. Bunch of underage kids packed into a van driving around in the suburbs at 1am in the morning. I told my friends that this wasn't a good idea and they need to get out of the van and come back home with me. They acted like I was a party pooper for a second but then they got out. Next day I found out the guy driving ran a red light and got t-boned by a truck. The one kid in the back almost died and everyone got banged up. The friends I pulled out of the van were in the back seat along with him. Not saying I saved their lives, but I really may have saved their lives. Wow, this really is a I told you. I told you it was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. They should be thankful then, you know? Oof. But how did no one else think it was a bad idea? Going into a car with a drunk driver? Really? My newborn baby was projectile vomiting after every feeding. I took her to the doctor several times. Always ended up being sent away with suggestions to try a different formula. I tried like four different ones. No change. The fourth or fifth visit, they sent me away with the same recommendation even though I pleaded with them to figure out what was wrong with my baby. I left the office and drove to the ER instead. She ended up having emergency surgery that day. <gasps> the surgeon said she would have starved to death or maybe dehydrated had she gone much longer without the surgery. I gave the doctors in that office a piece of my mind. <sighs> I hate it when this happens, you know, when something is clearly wrong but the doctors just send the patient away and be like, it's fine, you're fine. Even though the patient is feeling not fine. <gasps> That's crazy. My sister and I were out sledding when we were kids at this place with a really steep hill. I had unknowingly gone down a sled path that had a jump in it and when I landed it really hurt my back. So when I got back up to the top of the hill I told my sister don't go that way, the jump really hurts. She called me a baby and didn't believe me that it really hurt so she decided she would go down that path on her sled. Well she hit the jump and didn't get back up. Turns out she fell so hard she had broken her leg. <gasps> when we finally got her back up the hill and to the car, I got to tell her, I told you so. <laughs> I can't believe they actually still said it, you know? I would have not said it because, I mean, she already broke her leg. <laughs> You're going to add salt to the wound, you know? You're going to be like, I told you so, now you broke your leg. I told you, you should have listened to me. <laughs> I would have just kept quiet. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's already feeling like regretful that she did it. So you don't have to say that. You don't have to be like, I told you. <laughs> you really don't. Was picking beans with my sister and mum. To this day, I still don't know why the fence was electric, but it was. I touched it and I got zapped. It wasn't too bad, but it hurt. I jumped away and my sister saw me. I said that it was an electric fence. Of course she thought I was just pranking her. I was trying to tell her the whole time we picked beans but she didn't believe me. Right at the end she touched the fence and she didn't see it coming at all. Her face was just like, oh Love the car ride home. I told you, idiot. <laughs> I told you. Why wouldn't you listen to me? Since I was 14, my throat got itchy when I ate apples. I told my mum but she thought I just didn't want to eat apples and forced me to eat them. Why? Went to the doctor's office and got a test for allergies. Turns out I'm allergic to apples, peaches and many other fruits. <gasps> their mom could have caused the death, dude. Why don't some people listen to their kids? Like, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck are you thinking? My partner and I were broke and struggling to make ends meet. But we always kept money in the budget for fun and take out nights. One night we decided to get fish and chips. My partner had never ordered from that particular place before, but it was my favourite so he knew it'd be good. We don't have a lot of money to spare so I know we had to order smart. We'll only order what we need. We start driving and I'm about to call and my partner tells me he wants to order $10 worth of chips. For those of you who don't know how much that is, a scoop of chips is usually 2 to $3. I try to tell him that it was a ridiculous order and that this particular fish and chip shop was very generous with their portions, which is why it was one of my favourites. He was adamant about $10 chips and that he was so hungry that it's not like any would be wasted. We had a mini argument in the car and I finally gave up and said, 
Fine, order your chips, but you better eat them all. We get to the fish and chip shop and we go to the counter to pay. And the old fellow who runs the shop comes up to serve us. We tell him what order we're here to collect. That order is yours, he goes. I start to shake my head and smile. Yes, it's just for you two? The old man asks, looking concerned. Ah, yes. At this point, I start laughing. I try to tell him. We both laugh and my partner realizes his mistake when the old guy pulls out two huge parcels of chips. One of those alone would have fed a full family. We all laughed our little hearts out, thanked the man and went home to eat our fish and chips. And no, he didn't eat them all. We didn't even get through the first parcel. Now, whenever we need the other person to trust our judgment on something, we say $10 chips and the other person will always relent. That sounds so wholesome, man. I don't know why, but this story makes me happy. It's just like the small things, you know, and I can just feel how happy they are. How cute. Lawyer here. Fired a partner who I found some real irregularities in the spending habits versus what they were making after he couldn't provide a good answer to where it came from. Other partner left and started a new firm with them because they disagreed with my decision and refused to look at the evidence. Turns out he stole $500,000 of the client's money, got disbarred, and now is facing prison time. I told her to look at the evidence and she didn't listen. Wow. Some people just think they know it all, that's why. This dumb woman wouldn't leave the llamas at our petting zoo alone, even after I warned her. Eventually, they had enough and spit all over her. <gasps> Green, groupy spit from head to torso. She threw up a bunch and I laughed, until I smelled it and then I was retching too. What? Llamas spit that much? I had no idea. Well, she deserved it. She deserved all that spit. Leave the llamas alone. Bed frame wasn't properly latched down while moving. Partner insisted the weight of the frame would keep it in place. Flew into the middle of a major intersection on a left turn. We dodged four lanes of oncoming traffic to collect the pieces. I fixed my partner with a look that could peel paint. And he said, I know, I know, you told me so and you're right. I'm sorry. Just listen sometime. I told my mum who was a nurse that I am sick and she said I was lying. After two months and a lot of blood coughed up, she took me to the doctor. I had pneumonia and a double ear infection. I also had a bunch of other issues that I can't remember. What the heck? What mum would be like, you're lying? How do you tell someone that you're sick and they're gonna be like, you're lying? I don't get this. Man, there are like two type of mums, you know? One type of mum, even if you're not sick and you cough one little bit, she'll take you to the hospital. <laughs> That's my mum. <laughs> And then these type of mums where they're clearly sick, but they still be like, no, you're fine. You're lying. That's weird. That's crazy. My best friend started dating my ex-wife 10 years after the divorce. And he checked if I take issue, even though he didn't need to. Anyway, when we divorced, it was because she was cheating on me. He goes out of state for work and told me she started acting off not answering calls, quick to hang up, starting fights when he's home or going to parties rather than spend time with him. I pointed out this is what she did to me almost exactly three hours later he actually caught her cheating. <gasps> oh my gosh. You know that saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, right? Oof, that's crazy. I don't think I could trust someone who cheated before. Like, not in the current relationship. Like, let's say you meet someone new and then you find out they cheated on their ex-girlfriend before. Would you trust them? I don't think I could. I really don't think I could. Like, even if they didn't cheat on me, right? But it just still feels weird. It's like their history kind of just makes you not trust them even more. You know, it's just like you finding out someone has like a history of abusing dogs. You wouldn't trust them with your pet, right? But I guess people do change. That's the thing. People do change, right? <laughs> but I, I still can't trust someone who has cheated on their ex before. Had a really dark freckle, the color of chocolate. I showed spouse and he called me a hypochondriac. And if I go to the doctor, I'd be wasting the time. I went to the dermatologist. It was melanoma. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. That's really, really scary. So I was throwing knives at a tree and my father told me to be careful because the knife could bounce off of the tree. I didn't see that to actually happen. Oh my gosh. Why would you even do that in the first place? So I continued throwing knives at the tree and then it happened. A knife bounced off of the tree and hit me in the foot. 
When he went to go examine how bad the wound was, he asked me how it happened. I told him the knife bounced off and hit me in the foot and he said, I told you so. <laughs> if I was a dad, I'd be so mad, <laughs> you know? Like you're warning someone of the danger and they still do it and then they get hurt. But then now you have to be the one to take care of them. Yo! Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!